how would you describe those relationships that you've had in past lives that you then meet again in a different context? And how do you work with them in this life? I haven't finished it yet, but I'm just reading Carolyn May's Soul Contracts. I oh, highly right. recommend it. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, yeah they're Soul Contracts. Um, but I mean, I feel like I've known you before. Like mm-hmm. we just met mm-hmm. today, and mm-hmm. the, but I feel like I've known yes. you forever. You know, so there's... Yes. There's connections. It's the There's, best feeling. Right? Yeah. yeah. I always think it's like different planet. You're like, oh, we were from the same colony yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like we were from the same. Because I have these weird connections with certain people that people wouldn't expect. And I'm like, oh, we were from, we're from the same star system. Right. You know, we're from mm-hmm. the same like area. We're here to do the same work. We are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you, I mean, there's so many people in the world, right? Mm-hmm. And we're here. Mm-hmm. I always think of that in airplanes and trains. Yes. And like, I'm like, wow, there are so many types of people in yes. the world and here mm-hmm. we are. Mm-hmm. And we are, yeah. I and feel none like of them it. are real. How do you live in, how do you live in, <laughs> nice. how do you like live in the matrix as a person <laughs> like you? What a, what a question. You know, how do you <laughs> navigate the world knowing mm-hmm. how limited our view of reality is? What are some tips for people to live within this current structure that doesn't make sense Mm. i always go to creativity Mm. i always like to me to get like mm, how do we live in the matrix i think of new york city Mm -hmm. i feel like that and lately airplanes and and airports have been an incredible like i don't know what it is i think it's a glitch in the system Mm. but to be at airports right now like you really get to see where the the where there's a line between the matrix and the non-matrix. Mm-hmm. It's like people with the masks and mm-hmm. like, it's, cre- I don't know, I'm yeah. not even going to go there. But mm-hmm. um, the thing that comes to me is community, mm-hmm. connection, finding people that understand you and can have the same conversations. That to me has been a lifesaver mm-hmm. um, to be able to have people that we can talk about the same things with and where you don't feel like you're going crazy. Mm-hmm. And if you don't have that, know that that will come your way mm-hmm. at some point the more that you open to it and um i always find writing and painting and dancing mm-hmm. to be like um yeah uh, the word channels but like mm-hmm. to be a space of like really finding solace within this space mm-hmm. i dance and i and i get a lot like i go into trance a lot mm-hmm. where it's like i leave my body and then i become like air and I start getting these images, and so I, I there, there's a there's a beautiful space, liminal space in creativity mm-hmm. that I find that is just yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that answers no, the it question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's interesting too because with creativity, like when they talk when we talk about aliens, aliens are always so like aliens from different species or galaxies or negative entities. Negative entities don't have our capacity for creativity. The heart. The heart. The heart. I just heard yesterday yeah. something beautiful. I don't know. There's something yeah. r- going around about aliens don't, they're coming here to understand the human heart. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think that that's why mm-hmm. connection, that's why mm-hmm. family, that's why partnership, kids, mm-hmm. like relationship, friends, laughter, joy, celebration. Mm-hmm. The other day I had a session where I was like just, raise the frequency with joy raise the frequency with love and i know that there's so much happening in the world and i don't want to bypass any of it but if you have the opportunity to just like walk outside and smile to the stranger or wave or say hello i mean that's why i love latin america you just walk outside and you're like hello stranger i don't know you but have a beautiful day you know you're you're really creating the space of like we're in it together (laughs) we're here together Mm -hmm. and our heart really Really, I, I think that's what we're here for is mm-hmm. to really understand the value of relationship, connection, and mm-hmm. and love. Mm-hmm. And all those aliens and people and mm-hmm. reptiles and all of that are here to actually understand and take that away from us. Mm-hmm. Try because to. So, try to, exactly. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Um, I really feel that that's what other planets don't have. And mm-hmm. that's what we have that make us unique. Mm-hmm. And the more that we can be in it, like less about the screens, more about the conversations, mm-hmm. more about the dinners, more about the yeah, actual human touch, hugs, you know, mm-hmm. the more we can help each other and raise that frequency. Thank you so much for tuning in to Morning Microdose by Almost 30. We hope you enjoyed waking up. As always, we encourage you to take what resonates and leave the rest. If you enjoyed this trip, tune into the full episode on the Almost 30 podcast. 
All episode information can be found in the show notes. Make sure to subscribe. And if this becomes a part of your morning routine, be sure to share it with a friend. We have new inspiring doses Monday through Friday. Follow us on Instagram at Morning Microdose and follow Almost 30 at Almost 30 Podcast. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in the vortex.